a nofap relapse does not have to mean you lose something or that you drop down a level or two. Stay with me here and I'll show you why in a moment. You see, every single day I see some comments that go something like, I just relapsed on day 73 and I'm feeling so down right now. I'm afraid all my progress is gone. So guys, let's play around with a thought experiment here. So if we take the guy who had a 73 day streak and we imagine that this box here is that 73 day streak. And let's just for the sake of this example call him John. Okay, so this is how John views the situation. He sees his journey as him starting on the starting line right here. Here, and then trudging forward and actually doing a really good job, starting to notice benefits, doing better and better, getting all the way here to day 73. But oh no, relapse. And so what's going on in John's mind now is that he pictures himself having to go all the way back here and start over from the starting line once again. Guys, this is the wrong mindset. It's wrong even if you choose to count your days or not, which both ways are fine by the way, but whatever way you choose to track your progress, this mindset is not productive. Because well, let's continue our thought experiment here and you'll see what I mean. Let's just say for the sake of argument that we could jump one year into the future and we can now look back in time and see that John has managed to have five more streaks like that, all of them being 73 days long, which by the way adds up exactly to 365 days. <laughs> Whoa, you must think I'm a mathematical genius here. Okay, but John has had five streaks that all ended in a relapse on day 73. And since he never changed his mindset, after each relapse, he felt like he was back to zero. But here's the deal. What about all the things he has learned during a streak? Not just about NoFap, but learned about life in general, about him and his brain. But yeah, NoFap as well. Listen up here guys, because this is important. All those things he learned does not just suddenly go away after a relapse. No, you actually take that knowledge with you to the next streak. And since you now already have that knowledge in addition to all the new things you are going to learn on this next streak, then the relapse did not put you down one level. But you can actually look at it as you entering a new, higher level. Yes, and in terms of brain health, a relapse on day 73 does not put you back to zero either. It only puts you back, <laughs> well, God only knows, maybe just a few days. So in terms of brain boosting recovery, we could argue that these days here are kind of ruined. But then what about all of these days here? You did a lot of dopamine receptor recovery there. And all of that is something that you also take with you when you move to the next level here. So you see, I'm not just telling you this to try to somehow comfort you if you just relapse, but it is actually true. By taking the things you learned during your last streak into account, the tools and tricks you discovered, the brain healing you did, even if let's say 20% of that got wasted, but you take all of that with you when you start a new streak. Which means you almost never start from zero, but you can actually view it as leveling up. This is also why you guys so often see me comment under someone who just relapsed something like rise again and let's now make the next streak even better than your last one. So in addition to all the good things you did during your last streak that you now take with you to your following streak, maybe you'll start doing physical exercise during this new streak or meditation, or journaling. Wow, there's some serious leveling up right there. This should motivate you to do a good job, even if you are struggling with relapses. Because if you just keep going long enough, and just as long as you keep improving, 
You are always leveling up and you are always making progress, no matter if you happen to relapse every now and then. Now, don't twist my words here either and start thinking, oh, so it's okay to just relapse when I have urges then and then I just keep going. <laughs> no, 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 please. Of course you should still do your very best to stay strong and avoid relapses altogether. You should always aim for no relapses. But then, if a relapse happens, know that they almost never put you back completely to zero. Now, I do admit it is a bit different if you are still on a level where you relapse almost every week or even several times a week. Then, sure, then you are actually spinning your wheels so much that making any progress is hard. For this mindset that I shared today to work, you need to be able to go at least two to three weeks between relapses and and maybe even a bit more. Especially if you're addicted to porn, then you really need to take it a bit more seriously as you do want to do everything in your power to get a grip on that as fast as possible. But even then, even then, remember there's almost never a streak so bad that you are truly 100% back to zero. Because we always learn and grow, so we are never really the same person as we were just a few days ago. The only day zero in our lives was the day we were born. <laughs> and even then it wasn't really day zero either, <laughs> but more like day one. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and if you do need help with this, then you can download my free quitting porn guide down under this video or take a look at this video right here as over there I talk about something that has now helped thousands of men quit porn for good. Just click on it right now and you'll see exactly what I mean.